Okay. Another thing I've been thinking about was um causality. For a long time I've been asking the question of you know fate and uh, you know, do we have choice? And in some of my other videos I've talked about choice. And um, yeah, it's led me to causality and that is what I fully believe is the driving force behind everything. I think the problem with humanity is that our brains simply can't quite cope with the notion that there may not be any real point to any of this. But then, anyway, I'm digressing a little bit, but basically that causality, so you are, we all are, a fundamentally a an amalgamation of our causality. So everything that we see in life, everything that we've experienced in life, everything we've read, everything we've been told, every person we've hung around with, all adds to our causality, it adds to our idea of the world. And that's why we all have different opinions, because we've all been through different things. And that's why it's really important, because our lives are shaped by causality, which means that everything we do today influences who we are tomorrow. When you bear that in mind, then everything becomes important. It becomes important to who you hang around with, who you spend time with. Because those people that you spend time with will influence you, and that influence will change you. The things that you do um, all have an impact on the person that you will become. So what you read, what you watch, um, whether you exercise, whether you eat well, um, whether you're kind, whether you're not, um, it means that we, it's not that we have to necessarily be worried about anything, but it just means that everything we do is important in terms of it shapes the future. Now, interesting thing is, you know, if we, we are products of causality, the world is a product of causality, the universe is a product of causality, but causality always has a cause. Now, the big question here is, if we trace causality back to the root, to scientifically the Big Bang, or uh, religiously to God, then there must always be a cause, it must be. And that's really interesting because the only thing that can cause the first thing is something, therefore, that is outside of all causality, i.e. an eternal and law, beyond physical law, being, I suppose you would call it, but it might not be a being, it might be something beyond our understanding of what a being is, and maybe it's more or less than a being, but what I'm getting at is that on the one hand causality seems like a nihilistic you know, um, proposition, you know, that everything happens because of what's happened before it, but actually, because therefore if you trace, probably if you, if you trace causality back, it therefore must have a beginning which is outside, as I say, of causality, and goes ahead to prove that there is something more. Not necessarily that that something gives a shit about us. No, more that the beginning was caused by an eternal, or that everything is a circle. So, we caused causality, the less hypothetically say in the future that humans create the universe. And therefore we've got a causality loop and we've got an eternal universe. How ironic would that be that it's not God, it's simply humanity. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying that kind of right way, a weird way I'm saying. Good performance.